Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. I work in Power Systems Advanced Technology Support in Europe. In this fifth Power VC version 1.2 movie, we're looking at deploying a captured virtual machine image. Let's start then by logging in. Usual nice and quick speed. So we're going to deploy, well we'll deploy an image. Here's our images up in here. In the previous video we created this one, Demo 1. It's a copy of AIX. So if we click on here we'll find out details about that image. Let's do that now. Lots of information. We have a snapshot in the V7000 in my case. We can see it's been used in two places. Uh, one of these has gone error. That was a user error. But we'll ignore that. Let's come back out. We'll click here on the outside of here. We have a little dotted box around it so it's highlighted and we'll just hit deploy. It's showing us how much more resources out of our pool that this current configuration will actually use. I don't want to deploy it with the name of that image. Um, I want to actually deploy it as VM17. We'll ignore these things up in here. At the moment we have a policy that's in the configuration and we can go in here and force it onto one machine or the other. We can have uh, different templates and remember that we created some of these in the previous uh, movie um, and the size in here reflects these numbers in here of course the image on the disk is 16 gigabytes so we're going to end up with 16 gigabytes we can't change that but we can go for a medium size that gives us a whole CPU and so on up to the bigger ones but we'll start with a small one my machines aren't terribly big and I know that's going to work it's going to snapshot the image to a new copy to actually run the virtual machine and that's on this V7000 called done so it's not going to let us change it because I have to snapshot it onto the same V7000 decided to put this onto the green machine so this reflects how much resources are actually available on the machine it's going to ask me if I scroll down hit deploy it'll say whoa hang on you got to do something about the network so let's select the network we run uh, just one network, so here it is, and it wants an IP address for that. So let me just type that in there, and I think we're good to go. So well, let's just hit deploy. It's saying that it started the task, and we can see more in the messages at the top. If we go to our virtual machines here, we should be able to see it. Here it is, building, pending, initializing. So it's doing the work in the background now. While it's doing that, let's have a quick look at what's going on. The first thing it's going to do is do the snapshot on the back end for the disk. And then it will plumb that into a, a virtual machine. If we go to my done V7000 in here and look at my volumes. We can see a whole bunch of things in here. These are my shared storage pools. If we go down here we can see here are the images and we were using this demo one in here so this is where it is 16 it's going to clone that it's already completed that here is the volume for booting the virtual machines we created over time here's VM17 this is the serial number and the machine and type that that's actually connected to because it hasn't been oh this just went there as we were looking at it it went from uh, mapped into a host no to yes so it's doing some work already let's have a little look at the HMC so here's my HMC and we can see VM17 has been created in here this is a big part number we can probably see that in the PowerVC panels and we can see here that it's already starting to uh, start it up and connect it up and loading the operating system okay it's actually booting AX for the first time of course it will have to go through that uh, activation engine to set the IP addresses and the security keys that sort of thing so it will take some time to work through that back to PowerPC we can see 17 has got a warning in here and it's being activated still not ready to, to run that's why the warnings there that was useful to have a little ping running somewhere so you can see if it's 
pinging the right address yet. Here we go. We can ping that address, so it's on the network with the right IP address. That's another encouraging sign. Now, normally you shouldn't sit here watching it going through the various phases. We should uh, kick these off and come back in 10 minutes later. Check that they're uh, active, active, and, or active, uh, OK, like green 2 up in here, green 3, active, OK, then we know it's ready for real use. So we'll give it a few more minutes, let it uh, start up. Still says it's active over here. I've logged into it. We can see it's got the right uh, IP address in here. Um, so it's still activating. It's waiting for something to complete. We'll have to give it a few minutes yet. Well, the activating's finished. The warning is still here. This will be telling us that it hasn't yet managed to talk from the HMC using the RMC connection to the operating system. That can take a couple of minutes to uh, set up and start working. That connection is used to do things like uh, dynamic virtual machine size changes, like um, adding extra CPUs or adding extra memory or removing them or even removing, adding or removing PCI adapters. Not in our case, of course, because we're uh, running pure virtual. And we're finished. Our virtual machine is active OK. All systems go. Of course, we shouldn't really sit around here watching it actually happen. We should be creating, deploying lots of virtual machines and then checking it later on. Just to leave you with the three best places to go to get information. At the top, we have the PowerVC Redbook. It's just been updated February 2014. Then we have the user manuals. Pretty good information in there. Also, if you're a PowerVC user or you're just interested in it, then I recommend you join the LinkedIn PowerVC group. You'll have to sort of register and we'll OK you to join the group, usually within 24 hours. In there, we actually have some information about what's likely to come up with the next version of PowerVC, which is fascinating.